Hi, good morning. Today's gonna be a very, oh. Today's gonna be a very jam-packed day. Just to give you a little brief outline about me if you haven't seen me before. I study law, I'm in third year. I live at home most of the time. If you have any questions about Bristol, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will try and get to them. Before we even go though, I do need to get dressed. I'm thinking, because basically, it's meant to be 16 degrees. The weather at the moment is so like unpredictable. So it's gonna be raining, but it's gonna be like boiling. I'm like, what's going on? Anyway, I'm thinking hoodie, skirt combination i don't even wear jeans again i just want to branch out a bit you know it's like i feel like i should have planned this the night before like as if i was going on a school trip because i basically am i don't want to like dress up too much because i feel like i'm putting too much pressure on the day i'm putting too much pressure on the day by just like thinking about it too hard like put on some f***ing clothes i'll probably wear this hoodie just because it's not cropped at all i don't know why i was gonna say cropped it's not cropped but it like goes down to a normal height whereas pretty much all of my other hoodies genuinely can you see it goes down to like skirt wise i don't know i'm like stressed as f about today so i'm like overthinking about it it isn't a big deal obviously i've done this for two f***ing years this is by no means new territory for me but the circumstances are very different I'm just a little nervous you know i'm just a little nervous today the two seminars i have so they're both two hours long back to back First one's trust, second one's sex, gender, and law. I'm actually really enjoying trust. I thought I was gonna hate it because everyone was chatting shit about it before I started. But it's actually really, I don't think interesting is the right word, but it's like not bad at all. And then sex, gender, and law is just like a lot of reading, but it's reading I enjoy, so I don't mind. I think I'm gonna do this skirt. If you know, you know where I got this one. And then probably like a basic like tank top underneath, which is like so boring. Oh, I don't know, why am I thinking about it so hard? It's like never been this deep. Cool, okay. Let's get dressed. I will not be showing you that though, so I'll see you when I make my coffee. This tastes like fucking mud. It's like one of my favorite coffees. I know a good coffee when I have one. This is like 100% not good coffee. Yeah, no, it's literally God's gift. Like I don't understand what they put in it. Maybe it actually is mud. Because it is a very earthy sort of taste. Also, this mug. I made it myself, guys. Look, that's the proof. I made it actually in Bristol in this pottery painting place. It's like on the Clifton Triangle. I can't remember what it's called. But it was great fun and I recommend that you go. Cheers. I'm going to finish this off and then I need to pack my bag. And then we're going to go. I should bring my glasses. I will like probably not wear them, but it's always good to have the option. I'm going with my iPad today. I don't know what it is, but this microfiber little cloth thing does not clean my glasses, but it's gonna have to do. We're leaving. <laughs> It's definitely lunch, like it's one right now. And it was so good, oh my God, porridge. I love it, it's a bit of a marmite, kind of love it or hate it thing, I think, but I love porridge here, especially with the blueberry like compote stuff, it's so good. Anyway, now we're gonna quickly go to the shop called Ganesha that I absolutely love. Then I think we're gonna maybe go to Bird and Blend as well. And then I got my seminars, so that's the plan. I'm like keeping my mum waiting, so let's go. I am so tired, I can't even begin. The last time we spoke was in the bathroom of Boston Tea Party. I thought I'd give you a proper outline of what I actually did afterwards. So, first I went to Ganesha on Park Street. It's like one of my favorite shops ever. I think they change out a lot of their clothes like relatively regularly. So when I last went in the summer, it was like amazing. Like I got a couple of things and I like absolutely adore them. But like their winter selection wasn't for me and then popped into burden blend realized i don't need any more matcha like i've got an unbelievable amount of matcha i didn't need to buy anymore always lovely to pop in but didn't get anything from there 
we went round to cancer research. I have never got anything from that cancer research, so I don't know why I went in there being hopeful and didn't get anything. And then we went to another charity shop, and I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it up on the screen. And like, that's actually usually pretty good, but I didn't get anything from that either. So in terms of a haul, I'm really sorry. I was like freaking out because it was time for my seminar and I get really like weirdly anxious when it comes to seminars. I just get like freaked out that I haven't prepared enough and I'm gonna have to speak and like rah, you know. And then I get in and I just can't shut up. It's crazy. If you know about trust, you know what re-rose is and that's what we did today. I'm so, I literally, I've been speaking for five minutes now. I feel like I've been speaking for 10 seconds. Like I have, I have not I have been here. I'm gonna keep going to the best of my ability and I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm spaced out. After trusts, I met up with Evan for like 20 minutes because I had no time. My seminars were back to back and I went and got coffee. So good. Oh yeah. Oh what? Me. Yeah. <laughs> Do I look really like incognito? Yeah. <laughs> Am I having it? Yeah. Thank you so right. much. It was lovely to see him. Obviously don't see him that much when I'm in London so it was just nice to catch up even though it was very brief. If you watch my old videos you'll see I spent days in that Cafe Nero. I used to live there. I'd work like day and night in there. Like honestly I love that cafe. I went to my sex, gender and law seminar. We were doing feminist theory and queer theory on sexuality. I was like nervous. I was like oh my god like Everyone's gonna know so much about this subject. They're gonna be able to quote theorists. I went in. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna listen. You know, I'm just gonna like take notes. Again, I was talking the entire time. I don't know what my problem is. Because also like this has always been a thing. In school, my parents are going for parents evening and my teachers would always be like, Chloe contributes so much in class. Like she basically doesn't shut the f up. But it doesn't translate that well to her essay writing. For a lot of the seminar, actually, we weren't even talking about the reading. We were just, like, talking about looks maxing and, like, mewing. We just, like, bounced off each other. The seminar leader was so cool. Actually, both of my seminar leaders were so, so lovely and helpful and amazing. I will enjoy a subject, like, ten times more, even if it's the most boring thing I've ever read, if the leader of the seminar truly cares. That's what I was hoping for, because I would hate to travel across the country and, like, not even get along with the tutors. In terms of my education side of things, I had a great time. And I met up with my mum. So we walked down the Christmas steps, down towards Cabot Circus. I can't walk down these steps like a normal person. I just get scared that I'm gonna... And then, when we're in Cabot Circus, there was this new charity shop place. It was like a big charity shop of all these other brat char- uh, and all <laughs> Oh my god, what? Why did my tongue come out so many times? That's like terrifying. I've just lost all control of my like bodily functions. It was an old Hollister and so it was so dark, but it was all these charity shops in one space. I think I said this before in another video, but I'm in a position now where getting more clothes like doesn't make any sense. I've got so much stuff. It's literally bursting out of my chest of drawers that unless something's jumping out at me, I'm not gonna get it. There are lots of things, but just things I don't really want, you know? So I didn't find anything there. And then we popped into Urban Outfitters as well. But again, I didn't find anything. I tried a couple of things on and I was sat in the dressing room fading away because at this point the tiredness was really starting to hit and I was so hungry. So we went and we got pizza from Pizza Express. I'd never been to that Pizza Express before. It was really good, it was very nice. I got a vegan American Jack, I believe. It was so good. That brought me back to life a little bit, but only a little bit. In the car on the way back, I was a zombie. I was driving back with my mum, listening to the radio, which I haven't listened to the radio in so long. And then we got home. Here I am. I'm really happy that I was with my mum this time. Just being back in Bristol, it was so weird. So obviously I spent two years there. It was weird being in the spaces when I have so many memories being in them with certain people. I think that's why I'm so exhausted is because like as well as I was walking around everywhere and mentally like four hours of seminars is exhausting. The nostalgia was off the charts. I mean like naturally. I was talking about it with my mum. We were sat outside Will's Memorial Building and that summer I used to sit all the time and I was talking about how I am sad that I'm not able to live there. I'm sad that I'm not there all the time and I'm not having the full traditional uni experience but there are positives to every situation. Truly, it's just like better for me to be at home. Making the day trips, I am gonna be tired. But given the alternative, I think I'd still take home. I was really missing Bristol because London is a notoriously lonely city and I'm 100% feeling that. 
And so I was thinking of Bristol, like I used to hang out with so many people when I was at Bristol. But actually, I think I was just building up in my head. I have so many lovely memories, but ultimately it would never be the same. What I'll say, okay, if you're watching this and you're considering going to Bristol or you're at Bristol, I would say reach out to everyone, chat to people in your seminars, chat to people outside, inside of your subject area that you're studying, meet people in your accommodation, just ask people whether you want to go for coffee, drinks, whatever, just like reach out to as many people as you can. I was saying to my mum, I was like, if I could have my time back again, I would have embraced the insane number of people that just like are in the city and are willing to make connections with you. Because especially in first year, you're all new. Chances are you'll meet people that have the same interests as you, people you can grow with, people you're going to be really amazing friends with, share so many fun experiences with. And you won't know that there are people that you could do that stuff with until you reach out or they reach out to you. But it's good to be proactive about these kinds of things, I think, anyway. So that'd be the one thing that I'd say in my years of wisdom, two years of wisdom still. I look back at my time at uni, even though it's not finished yet. And I think of all the things I could have done differently and whatever. But at the end of the day, life will work out the way it works out. So just do your thing. Bristol is an amazing city, like there's no taking it away from it and especially being a student there. There are so many things to do, there are so many cool places and I'm really happy that I'm still able to go and visit them, even if it's not every single day. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed joining me on my day in Bristol and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.